Has his ability changed anything uh, as far as the way that you guys call a game? <coughs> No. No, not really. I mean, obviously, every everything you do on all on all areas, it's about uh, you always take into account what your talent is and and what your strengths and weaknesses are, all those things. And um, not only having Prince, but having Alfonso and Haig and the guys that can, you know, pretty good cover guys. And uh, so that always plays a part in what you do. Has Alfonso been overlooked though because of Prince's presence and accolades? I think a little. I think so, but uh, but I think in the end, I think uh, you know his opportunity will come next year. I think he recognizes that. Believe me, Alfonso is very happy for Prince, and, but uh, I think you'll see him in this very similar situation next year. Are you confident that, that he'll come back? Yeah, I think his his mindset's to come back. Did you ever have any conversations with Prince in the offseason about the NFL or? Oh yeah, we talk about it, but uh, his mindset was to come back. He, he uh, um, felt, and you know, there was a lot more out there for him. And uh, obviously, I think he made the right choice. Do you treat this game as any different than how you've gone about it because it is a championship game? No. We have the same approach. Does it help that you were the last year gone through the whole process? No, not really. It's a different, uh, you know, whatever happened last year doesn't help you now. It's a, you live in the present, and and, uh, and uh, it's a different opponent, different time, and different football teams, and, and uh, it'll be earned, earned or lost, or won or lost on the field. So well, you took your team in there last year on Friday just to kind of check out. Are you, are you not going to do that this year? Sir? No, we've been in there already. We're we're we're, uh, we're not going to go about. We're not doing a walkthrough. You, Bo, do you think this is a better team than you had a year ago? Taking down? Oh, I don't know. I I don't compare them. I just worry about where we are right now as a football team, and I think we we need to. You know, we can haven't reached our potential yet, and uh, got to keep working to do that. Your offensive coordinator has had to deal again this year with injuries, the quarterback position at times, now it's being out, uh, some offensive players. How do you think he's managed things this year uh, just just in dealing with young players in certain positions and injuries? And things like that? I think we've done a really good job offensively. You know, I mean, there's obviously there are times, I mean, you can't control injuries. You know, you, you make adjustments and, and you, you move on. And... Uh, I think we've made good adjustments. I thought uh, at times we were hitting on all cylinders, at times we weren't. And just a lot of that has to do with injury, but injuries are part of the game. And uh, um, I have a lot of confidence in Watts and the offensive staff, and I think they've done a, a good job. Kind of a feeling would you have this game is left in the hands of Alex Henry at the, at the end? I'd feel good about it. He's going to leave his his uh, career having never never earned first team All Big Twelve at least on the on the coaching ballot. Is that uh, you feel like like that's right in your own? No, I think it's crazy. But uh, I also thought it was crazy that he wasn't on the, a finalist for the Groza Award. But you know, I think when it's all said and done, when uh, when the guys who know, you know, the guys who really watch and they. I think when it comes draft time, I think it'll be obvious who, where, where he where he is in the pecking order. What do the NFL guys say about Alex that you talk to? They love him. I mean, you can, you can. He's done it for a long period of time. I think he only missed one this year, and it was blocked. Right? It was about a 56-yarder that was blocked, and um, you can't do any better than that. Plus the punting and and uh, the clutch situations and. The amount of time he's done it, and I'm not taking anything away from him. I don't even know who won, who got first team, but uh, I'm not taking anything away from him. Or I, I just I wouldn't trade Alex for any kicker in the country. From your experience um, on a lot of different teams, how would you say Alex's impact on his team has been, just as far as the difference they've made in games and different you know, those plays? He's just done it over and over. He's been consistent, and he's done a great job. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't trade any. I wouldn't trade him for anybody in the country. 
Could you talk about the development of Rex and also what he gives you out of the Wildcat? Uh, he's just a good football player. You know, he does a, a lot of things well. He's uh, he's a competitor. He has great character. He's a leader, and uh, and he's continuing to get better. And he he has an impact on the game in a lot of different ways. Not not just I mean everyone focuses on the Wildcat, but he does. Uh, he runs the ball hard. He's you know efficient. He can run inside or outside. He's just a tremendous football player who's continuing to develop and get better. Bo, your players aren't available for interviews today. Practice is closed. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but is, is it kind of an effort to, to I guess, limit the speculation regarding who will start at quarterback this week? Or? No, I just. They have players were available yesterday, and, and just thought that was the right way to go about it. That's not going to limit any speculation of quarterback <laughs> <laughs> or anything else. Well, how, how, how have they handled that? I mean, uh, I mean, it's kind of been an ongoing question throughout the year, just because of the injuries. And uh, they don't bat an eye. They have confidence in. I mean, they're in all the guys. And uh, it's not an issue in our within our building. You were a part of the Ohio State Michigan rivalry. Uh, obviously, everybody looks at the Oklahoma Nebraska as a big rivalry. Too. Did you follow that much when you were growing up? Yeah, I remember watching the Oklahoma Nebraska game, and uh, you know, it, the game was mainly played after Thanksgiving, right? And I remember watching that game on Friday, and uh, it was. Tremendous rivalry, two great programs with a lot of tradition. It's it's uh, it's fitting that uh, these these that we're playing on Saturday. Well, personally, does this does this game mean more to you than most games? No, I, it's not about me. Never has been. Never will be. It's about the kids. And uh, I've been in a lot of big games. And uh, it's most important to me because it's the next one. And it's uh, about it. Do you think you remember this one a little more than, say, Iowa State or Kansas State? And I don't know. Depends what happens. <laughs> <laughs> when you were uh, at LSU in 07, when you guys played in that title game, there were a lot of distractions that day, I'm sure you remember. You also had to play a back and court that day. Do you draw any experiences off of that uh, as, as you might prepare to play a backup on, on Saturday and parallel that out? No, not really. Uh, I mean, that was a, like I said, that was a different time and place, different football team. I didn't know anything about any distractions that day. I mean, I didn't even know any of that went on until afterwards. So um, apparently when all those distractions happened. I was probably sitting in the locker room reading a book. So, I mean, it's, <laughs> um, I was just concentrating on, you control what you can control, and you go to try and do the best job you possibly can, and that's, that's how I approach it no matter what. You say it's about the kids. How excited would you be for this, these kids, especially how far they've come from 2007 when they were <coughs> the laughing stock of the 12? Well, it's obvious. I mean, uh, like I said, I, I, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of this, this group of kids, how far they've come, what we've done, and uh, I just want the best for them. That's, that's why I'm in this profession. But how much does the offense, if at all, change depending on who your quarterback is? Uh, yeah, I mean, it changes a little bit because, uh, like I said, everything you do, everyone has strengths and weaknesses. and, and uh, I mean, I, I, things change a little bit, but you know, the, it's not dramatic.